Well, the fire didn't just cause problems for residents there. Many businesses nearby were also left paralyzed pretty much by the warnings to stay indoors today. Matt Markham talked with business owners in that part of the region who were left with no other option but to heed the warnings that were put out by officials earlier today. Matt's joining us now live. And how are those businesses doing tonight? Well, Dory, they're able to open back up now because after that advisory was lifted at 2.30, they could technically reopen. But by 2.30, there was very little left to salvage of the workday. Uh, no one ever specifically went to these businesses and said, you have to close. But according to some of the businesses we spoke to, uh, they were strongly encouraged to close. One of them is the Kinderhook Toyota that was right in line of sight of the fire at the TCI plant. And ash and particulate matter was actually falling on some of the cars outside the dealership. And at that time, uh, the folks there didn't know whether or not to clean it up or really what to do with it. They were just waiting to see. Uh, they, at that time, were waiting to get official word, but in the meantime, decided to keep everybody at home. Most of them did show up. Uh, we did call a few that uh, uh, it's best to stay home, but they still, they're still so stubborn here, I tell you. Well, if they're stubborn enough to go back in now as they can, one of the things they can do is clean off uh, that ash from the cars. And one of the things you can do if you have a car and you live in this area is take a spray bottle with water and detergent and get the particulate matter off your car that way and then put it in a bag because another advisory will come later from Columbia County about what to do uh, with those ashes there. PCBs aren't in them, but it's unclear if there are any other chemicals in them. And as you guys mentioned back at the station a little earlier, those tests will be complete uh, to what else may be in the air here tomorrow. For now, we're live in Columbia County. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News.